So this one we're going to do here is going to be a vertical composition. And we're going to use some more uh, extreme angles. So keep in mind the perspective stuff we talked about from before. This one's going to be kind of like a look at bird's eye view or maybe like a view from a window looking down onto the street. And you can see that I'm not really using a uh, vanishing point very strictly, but you can clearly see how all the lines of the building are pointing towards a particular spot. It's just that I, you know, and practice enough at this that I could do it without actually having to draw the vanishing point. But if you want to do an angle like this um, in your own art, using a vanishing point can be really useful. You can also see uh, some of the focal length stuff we talked about where the vertical line of that pole on the left is actually slanting sideways. Uh, and that is because of the, because of the uh, focal length topics that we talked about in the previous lesson. So we're getting in some shapes on the building here. We're also just getting a few people to walk down the street. And uh, as opposed to our other city views, the people are pretty small, a pretty small element in the scene. The buildings are a little bit more the the focus as far as details go and so i'm sort of thinking just about like what do i want to get in this picture for me i think it's going to be it's going to be pretty basic. Uh, we'll get some windows in the in the building. We could get some people in there, um, kind of flesh out the scene a little bit. And uh, because we're so close up to a few of these buildings, we're going to want to like add a little bit more detail to them. Um, so yeah, things like the perspective of the building and the details on it, uh, that's a pretty big factor in this scene uh, where it wasn't as important in the others because the buildings weren't as close. So uh, we're going to take a little bit of extra time during this one to kind of like flesh out the uh, the buildings a little bit more. And so that's essentially what we came up with for that one. It's looking pretty good. I shrunk it down to, uh, you know, bring it to that size so it fits on a page with all the other ones. And we'll uh, make the rest of the changes like that. Again, sometimes it's good to change the size and, you know, kind of see it along with all the other pictures. So we're just making some basic little changes right now. Maybe get a little bit of uh, shading in there just to sort of define some of these little areas. And it will, we'll just also take a little bit of time to clean some things up um, on the on the page where all of these images are going to live. Let's add some more dark areas here. Again, nothing too fancy. And I think that's pretty much what we want for this one. 
it's definitely a dynamic camera angle. It's a, it's a view that we haven't seen before and a, a uh, verticality in this city that we haven't seen yet. It gives us a different, literally a different perspective on life in the city. But uh, seeing it from this kind of view, you can, there's a lot of opportunity for nice little, little details that you can add in there. Um, you know, we have this, this pole where you can, uh, you can sort of see the details on that and see the, the particular details of the, the window and the siding on the building that are a little bit defined right now, but could be taken a lot further in a future version. So there's a lot of, uh, possibility for that. And with that, we have our three, our three general scenes. So, uh, for me, that's a, set of general street scenes for you that could be general anything scenes um but yeah i think that this uh group of pictures really does give a nice different perspective on how our uh, our world works <laughs>